everybody, it's Sandro Stefanucci from Abstract Homes and Renovations. Um, here on at the Tobin Laneway, the ICF block, we talked a little bit about that before, and I showed you some methods that we're doing, and the particular one is a monopore system. And with the monopore system, we put the bag down below, the, and it carries the, the uh, concrete inside the footing, and it expands when you fill it up to the uh, correct width and depth that you need. You can set that in there, and then the bag just stays on here. It doesn't come off. We attach it with one by two, and we put screws into the supports that we have that are in the ICF, and it keeps it nice and tight. So now, a lot of guys say, well, why are you putting the, 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 the you know, waterproofing membrane on it already? Isn't it waterproof already? It is, but this gives us another layer of protection, and this is probably the best practice that you're gonna be able to use for this system, in my opinion. Down below here, we have a uh, you know a 90 degree angle here. Water can sit in here and eventually get down in between there and into the concrete, and then that kind of defeats the purpose of putting the bag on here, so water can wick up, or so it doesn't wick up through the concrete at the bottom. So this, by putting on the Nudira, their peel and stick, it um, it keeps this angle here sealed, and we overlap it a bit here. So the water just sheds off. Anything that comes down here will just shed off of here and into the drain tile and away it goes. It doesn't get into the house at all. Or, you know, some of the cracks where the block joints are, you can still get a little bit of water penetrating through there. So that's why we put it on there. Uh, a couple of tips that we um, that we do. Obviously running it um, uh, vertical rather than horizontal is much easier to use in small pieces with a peel and stick. Uh, what we do that I've noticed in the past is when we apply new dura it typically doesn't need any uh travel tack or high tack uh, on the um on the block in order for it to stick but i found that after a while you know because it takes a few months by the time you actually get the cladding and stuff on here that the weather can get in between here and it actually starts to peel the um the top layer apart from the bottom layer so what we're doing with this one here is we're using a travel tack and we're spraying about six inches on the top edge so it seals on there and it stays and it won't come off. Now, what we do is we cut our pieces, obviously we pre-cut our pieces here, and the back of the the, um, the peel and stick, will, I will get a knife, the back edge of a knife, if I'm cutting this particular piece here, I want a three inch overlap, they have, they have the uh, overlap marks on here already, and that, so when you get in these corners, they can be a little tricky, so what I like to do is I like to just, um, use the back edge of a knife and score the um, the back of the paper here and just score it like that and then what we do is we'll we'll probably put the um, the top edge of this on first so sorry we'll get this side going and that's an overlap here so I'll probably do this get my overlap I'll put the pull the paper back and I have another guy standing on the other side because it's better with two guys. It's always better with two people on it. And then we just roll it out, get it on there, roll it out with this. Then we'll peel, once we get this particular side on, then we'll peel the back off this side here. And then we'll get the corner and then we'll pull the corner over. And then you see on this side here, we just did this one. And what we'll do later on is I'll put a patch over this corner here so it doesn't get inside here. That's your tip for the day. Take care.